Hey, uh, hi. I just wanted to play around with this thing. It's called W10 or something. And um, I installed it. And this is what we got, All right? So let's get a look at the interior of the beast. Let's maximize this thing. This is on the laptop from recording with a Samsung device, which may be bad or may be good or whatever, right? Um, want to go down here. And that's 909, 1909. All right, just installed it. So we clean install, and then this comes along. Arch Linux, the new ISO. Just wanted to play around with it, like I thought. And well, shutting it down like that, just pseudo rebooting. I mean, hard shut down actually. I see the light is still on here. So actually I wanted to really shut down. Ah, it won't let me. I didn't use a Microsoft account, so I made a local account on this thing. So I'm not bothered with all that being synced and all that. Figuring out what's my password again on Windows as well. <laughs> I haven't used it in a while. So I'm gonna start up again. That's what I want to do. And then install, of course, another operating system site by site. I've done this once, you can watch or Google uh, YouTube, just use the search on YouTube, right? And then see um, how I did it back then. So it's another video. So, well, first of all, maybe, 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 um, yeah, why not? Maybe I should include also the BIOS or the UFI. It's always different on every computer. There is already lots of uh, articles about bias in, um, what number is it, F2 here, too late, too fast, too slow. Uh, so, different kind of keys, F2, Escape, F8, F12, um, anyway, you need to get into bias or UFI, it says here F2 for me. So this is one I wanted to quickly show that. What's important here is CPU. CPU virtualization technology is enabled, uh, so I can use VirtualBox on this thing. Fine, uh, all the rest is normal. Yep, security. And what's interesting as well is first boot with USB, right? So make sure the, U, the, the boot sequence is set properly, that USB is the first one. So whatever, whenever you pop in a USB, that gets loaded up. That's it, not much to see in this case. There's not an, uh, anything Windows protected, how it's called again. So it's not that, uh, not on this machine, it's an old machine. You can see it here somewhere, is there a date? VGA bias version. Don't see a date really, might have missed it. But it's an old computer, just uh, know that. Save, nope, don't want to save anything, maybe a change something just want to shut down my friends and go up but there are other um, settings that you can do in bias and, and ufi so check them out on arclinics.com and there's a menu that says before installation right before so before you go and nuke your own system read 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 watch videos how to do it So Windows 10 has completely got my um, hard disk, which is 250 gig, completely under control. There is nothing Linux near it. I pop in USB, could be any Linux distro, doesn't matter which distro you like to install. This is suitable for everything and everyone. But the distro should provide you with some way, some tool to partition things to change the Windows 10 partition, make it smaller. And uh, whoa, what is this screen doing here? Yeah, it doesn't feel, doesn't know what to do here with this black screen. And um, that's the point. It should provide you some tool to partition. Now this is taking quite a bit to boot up. 
I finally managed to get through. That's probably because of the windows. Looking at the disc, at the the disc, because when we have when we do a clean install, right, uh, everything is is I think under ten seconds there, right. So, <clears throat> run G part can be launched, but it's just to show you guys what it is. So we have an NTFS, that's a kind of formatting, Windows of course, uh, 580 megabyte, and it's used already for 455, so that's important to know. But Windows takes a lot of space, uh, I'm quite amazed by it. So unused 123. So if we, as Linux, want to put something there as well, as that's the one that's the space that's left, right? So NTFS is all the rest and used, now we know, Windows 10 takes up 17 gigabytes. Um, still too much for us because for 10 gigabytes we have all the software we can dream of as well. So that would include something like Adobe, Gimp, eh, right, Photoshop, in InDesign, Inkscape. It's all there with all the browsers and so on. Anyway. We're not going to do it via this way, which we could. We could actually say G parted and then go and drag these things. I believe we can. Let's have a look. If we can, we can resize. Yeah. So we could do this. We're not going to do it. Um, maybe you have a reason to do it. But I'm going to go for run Calamaris and let Calamaris take care of it because that's possible as well. Somebody asked me, hey, can we replace one partition with another? Yeah, it's, it's all possible. Just pop it in and see what it provides. All kind of software that I'm not going to waste my time on. Because it's just a waste of time in the sense that you have to download it and install it. So the video will only become longer. And that's not ideal. It probably is going to be long already. So Belgian keyboard is good. And here we get the choices, right? So install alongside. You can resize this thing, replace partition, well then Windows is gone, right? And, and there is no Windows anymore, that's not an option. Another option is get rid of Windows altogether and say swap, no swap with Hibernate. And if you're going this way, you can encrypt it as well. Or the manual partition thing, but I thought let's make a video about install alongside. So you have both of them, both of the worlds, which I do not uh, give us advice to people and say better use one uh, SSD for one operating system, pop in Windows, pop in uh, Linux and do a switch with a bay. But that's for maybe for future um, purchases, right? Remember that it's so easy, it's so much fun. In the case that this is a laptop, um, we can't just put a bay in here, we can't switch. So, okay, we'll take the next best thing and we're gonna install alongside. So I'm not saying anything what you should do with this Windows 10 thing, there's in the beginning there. So I'll just say install alongside. Next. That's all you need to decide. And then we start installing. That's it. So first job, resizing. Second job, creating a new partition. And uh, we are off, right? We're unpacking. That's what we wanted to wait for. I know if I can pause this thing to spare some time, and I'm afraid not. It's, um, yeah, it was on and off. I've Googled this thing. It has um, no ability to pause, I'm afraid. So we'll wait. And probably my son is going to barge through the door and he's going to be very quiet since he hears English, which is not normal. The question is, will he stay out of the room? Best would that he would not come in, this son of mine, and the door closes again. Okay. <laughs> he understood. So. We're waiting for the unpacking of the image. Now, this is a slow computer, I'm afraid. So, you just uh, scroll through the video till the end. I'm afraid I can't do anything about 
the pause option that's not available. All right, I see we are progressing. I was already finding out, finding work here. I always work, there's always something to do. All right, come on, do your best. So if you were installing and you selected a lot of packages on the Calamars, this is the place where everything will be first downloaded, checked, and then installed. So the more you download, the more you install, the longer it takes, the longer it stays there on, on this 80%. Right now, the question we all want to see answered do you still have Windows? Right, that's always so tricky. Well, so USB has to go out in mine anyway, it will boot always up with the USB, so it has to be out of the system, and then we boot up. And then we see two lines. We have a Windows 10 line and we have an Arch Linux Linux line. Of course, Arch Linux doesn't interest us. Is Windows 10 still working? And only then are we happy that we haven't lost any, I don't know, school things or anything like it. But anyway, if you try this, put it on USB, whatever you think you will lose, put it on OneDrive. Google Drive, anything, any drive. <laughs> so, Schaafbeheer, um, yes, in Dutch it's Schaafbeheer. So, this is what we get, right? So, this is where we boot from. That's our C and that's our partition 50 50, it seems, for Arch Linux. Now, the most um, often, the question is most often now asked is um, hey this linux thing thinks it's important it puts itself on the first line to boot from and i always have to boot 80 percent of the time in windows and only 20 percent in linux so can i change the windows 10 to be the standard one otherwise i have to stay with the machine and then say no 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 go to windows 10 right so if you want to have windows 10 on the first line you go to Linux. Yeah. And as usual, Grub Customizer is installed. We install it for you guys. We don't need it. We have one ISO, one uh, desktop on our system. Never two. But if you have two, you need the Grub Customizer. You can use it also for other things. So. Okay, Grub Customizer, launch this thing. It's an application to easily, graphically change, for instance, the sequence. It finds Windows 10 here. It says General Settings, First Entry, Default Entry, First Entry. Okay, what if I just change this thing and move it up? That's it. Save. Done. Windows 10 is now the first to boot up. As simple as that. I think you can click on some arrows and then a save. Let's try it out. You see this is going to work as well. Windows and Linux both sharing the same restart, the same SSD in this case. Well, I don't do anything, I don't touch anything. What happens after three, four, five seconds? It boots up Windows 10. And now you don't have to rush to your computer. Oh no, no, it's going to boot into Linux. That's it for me. Um, I don't see anything else I could explain. Both of them work. You game on this one and you work on the other one. Or the other way around. Uh, it's all up to you. This is just sharing knowledge. All right, have fun.